What's up guys, it's your boy coming back with another video. So today, let's talk about selling. The importance of selling. Why people don't truly believe that it's not all about price. Now don't get me wrong, price is important. I mean, nobody wants to be robbed. Nobody wants to seem like they're being taken advantage of. But the price, the value is all right here. So my, my value of something may be different than your value of something. And even if it is the same. So as you all know, I sold cars and, you know, I've been selling for a long time, selling my lanes and all that. So when you when you're selling we have a thing called hot buttons and triggers a hot button is something that is important to the consumer that could build value okay so if you're going to buy a car and you go in and you want to spend ten thousand dollars but you may go out spending ten thousand seven hundred well what happened how did you get there Somebody hit a hot button. Somebody sold value of something to you. Now, if you're buying a car for your wife and kids, it may be safety. It may be reliability. It may be security. So, when it comes to this, it may be on time. It may be safe. The car being safe. It may be... A special spot on the trailer it may be you letting them choose where it goes on the trailer I've done that personally I don't care where it goes on the trailer as long as in my professional mind it's going to be protected and I'm under height so I have better and worse spots on the trailer that's a selling point my belly is the most vulnerable because I don't have my rubber mats up yet. Now, am I gonna tell somebody, oh no, you go in that spot, your car's gonna be trashed. No, it, it's not gonna be trashed. Like it, it may get hit with rocks or salt or, sink or you know stuff like that, but it's not gonna destroy the car. But if I tell you your car's gonna take two spots or your car's gotta go into this certain spot which limits my load. Which means I can give you this, but you're taking something from me, you're limiting my loads. That's why this price is the way it is. Um, and I'm gonna show a couple um, screenshots, you know, of, of what I do, you know, with the selling. Like I had a customer, they wanted to be at 500. Well, I explained to them what I was getting, 800 to 1,000, and explained to them and showed them why I can't do what their buddy got last year. Last year, a buddy got 500. Can't do that. Because of supply, because of demand, because of the time of year, because of the rig, because of the car. You know, there's so many things but you need to figure out what is their hot button. Now, if they tell you, oh, you just, I need it picked up. Delivery is no big deal, I need it picked up. Hot button. I can get to it tomorrow for this price. I can push these around to get to your car first thing in the morning. Value. Value equals money. Most people can't get cars picked up that quick. Even if you can. Even if you were going to do it anyway. Does that matter? It's a selling technique. It's all about the art of the sale. And the customer feeling like they got something. Now, 
them receiving their car to a lot of people, are you transporting the car? It's not a big ordeal to them. All they know is they make a phone call, somebody somehow, a truck shows up, takes the car, brings it to their front door. That's what they know. They don't know that tolls are $200 on the East Coast. They don't know that in Miami, you can only run around certain times because of the traffic. They don't know in New York, you have to take different roads. They don't know you can't just put any car on the trailer. There's an arc to it. Well, how would they find that out? From you. Well, how do you tell them? You build it with value. You explain to them why you're charging this. You don't just say, oh, it's 500, take it or leave it. No, you can, but you're going to get what everybody else gets, you know? And people that haul cars, they are not haul cars, I'm sorry. People that get cars moved, a lot of them know what's going on. Like, there's not very many buyers and like buyers in the private sector, but there is some. So now when you say, I'm a hot shot, I can pick your car up, I'm a three car hauler, and they've never heard of that, they're gonna Google that. And what are they gonna find? We don't know. They may find a rolled over wedge. They may find a raggedy looking pickup truck. They may find a, a truck missing wheels. You know, or, or they could find anything. So you don't want to leave it for interpretation. I have a five car hauler. I'm the same size as a semi. You know, so they, they don't look up hot shot. They look up five car hauler. And they may come across a Mini 5, they may come across a Sun Country, but they're probably not going to come across some rolled over stuff like that. So now, and the reason I said that is because selling is also watching your words. You know, the term hot shot is not as great as it used to be. Like... Hot shot now could mean, could have some very demeaning meanings. But you have got to, got to build value. Like, write down, sit down and think, what are the benefits of your rig? What are the benefits? What are the benefits of your service? If it's me versus you, what can you say to one-up me and oversell your service. Think about that, have an arsenal ready. Now when it comes, you're ready. It's not all about, I'm gonna say it again, it's not all about being the cheapest because a lot there's a lot of damage in car haul. And you will see that if you Google it. So they, can put that damage with being the cheapest. I tell them I'm not the cheapest, but I have no damage claims. You know, I'm I'm responsible, I have references, I have all that stuff. So that builds a value to me, my business, and my service. So I hope you guys understand. I know I didn't really tell you how to sell because I can't I can't give you examples for your rig. Like that's something I may be able to do one on one, but right now there's so many different people watching that it would kind of be hard to do. So guys, we're not just truck drivers. We are business owners, business managers, people managers, we're salesmen. Above all, we are salesmen. You sell your service. So if you guys want to be successful in hot shot trucking, you found the right place. You hit that ding ding, you 
hit that thumbs up and you're going to get the notifications of great information like this. Uh, we have just uh, been working with this fuel card. Man, I've been saving 70 to 80 cents a gallon on this fuel card. Um, I'm using RTS. It's Victoria. I'll put her information down here somewhere. Um, if you're interested in RTS fuel card, hit her up. Um, she's got a couple different options for you, whichever's best for you. I'll be doing a video on all their benefits and all that coming up, but right now, if you're interested in a fuel card, holla at your girl. She's right here. Right? She's right here. So, and we've got car hauler factoring companies. We've got, we've got it all going on over here. But first of all, you need to sell, sell, sell. So, guys, like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. And I will see you tomorrow don't forget sell the service yeah